Nearly 15 million babies are born preterm each year. Preterm birth is the leading cause of death in newborns less than 28 days old. Preterm infants are also at an increased risk for a wide range of short-term and long-term respiratory, infectious, metabolic and neurological conditions. Corticosteroids are medicines given to women with features suggestive of preterm labour to help the baby's lungs to mature quicker. This reduces the number of preterm babies who die or suffer breathing problems after birth. Corticosteroids, such as dexamethasone, when administered to the pregnant women antenatally, cross the placenta and accelerate the maturation of the fetal lung by stimulating surfactant synthesis. Surfactants are needed to maintain stability when breathing out in order to prevent the collapse of the alveoli. The lungs of preterm babies have not yet developed enough surfactant to work properly. As a result, the administration of corticosteroids can benefit them. Clinical trials conducted in high-resource countries have demonstrated that antenatal corticosteroids for women at risk of preterm birth can reduce the risk of neonatal death respiratory distress syndrome and systemic infection. However, the antenatal corticosteroids trial or ACT conducted between 2011 and 2014 suggested otherwise for preterm infants in low resource countries. It aimed to assess the feasibility, effectiveness and safety of a multifaceted intervention designed to increase the use of antenatal corticosteroids in six low-income and middle-income countries Argentina, Guatemala, India, Kenya, Pakistan and Zambia. The study reported some unexpected findings. The intervention strategy was not only ineffective at reducing neonatal mortality in small infants but also increased mortality in the overall neonatal population. For every 1,000 pregnant women exposed to the multifaceted strategy at all levels of care, an excess of five perinatal deaths occurred, compared with usual care. In addition, the strategy seemed to increase the risk of women getting infections. Due to this, the use of antenatal corticosteroids in low-resource countries was questioned, and their use became an urgent research priority. As a result, in 2015, the World Health Organization recommended that antenatal corticosteroids should only be used under certain conditions. A multi-country study called the WHO Antenatal Corticosteroids for Improving Outcomes in Preterm Newborns, or ACTION-1 trial, was conducted to assess the safety and efficacy of antenatal corticosteroids in women in low-resource countries who were at risk of early preterm birth. The trial was conducted in 29 secondary and tertiary level hospitals in Bangladesh, India, Kenya, Nigeria and Pakistan between December 2017 and November 2019. It studied 2,852 women and their 3,070 babies with women being randomly assigned to receive either dexamethasone or placebo injections. The findings of this trial show that the use of dexamethasone resulted in significantly lower risks of neonatal death and any baby death compared with the use of placebo. For every 25 women treated with dexamethasone, one preterm infant's life was saved. There was also no increase in possible maternal bacterial infection. It shows that the use of antenatal dexamethasone causes no harm to women or newborns. To make sense of the conflicting results of these two trials, it's important to consider the different ways in which they were conducted. The antenatal corticosteroids trial had several issues attributable to the findings. It relied on a less accurate method to estimating gestational age and only a minority of infants who received dexamethasone were delivered at a health facility with adequate neonatal care capacity. In contrast, the WHO Action 1 trial was conducted in hospital settings with minimum resources for maternal and newborn care, including the use of ultrasonography for determination of gestational age, 
and neonatal infection management and respiratory support. The WHO Action 1 trial makes it clear that there are many hospitals in low-resource countries where antenatal corticosteroids can be prescribed safely and effectively if a minimum package of high-quality care for both pregnant women and their babies is available.